when you put the page in an editing mode, one more special thing happens. A new block gets added called as add a block. You will find this at the bottom of the page. This is a special modal system owned block that allows you to place other blocks on the page. Usage is very simple. Just select from the drop down and position it where you want. Let's say I want to add this new block called as latest news. This block allows teachers to make announcements to the class that they are teaching and is a very useful block in my case. When I select and release the click, the page will automatically refresh and the block is added to the page automatically. When the block is added, it might not be in a position that you would want it. In that case, you will just have to drag it to the position that you want and release it. This is real easy to do, but you might want to practice snapping it in position correctly once or twice. If you try to drop the block in an incorrect position, the block will just snap back to its original place. The next feature we will see is how to hide a particular block. For example, I will hide this private files block. The technique is the same. Go to the actions menu once again and select the hide block option. This has an eye icon and this eye icon is standard throughout Moodle. There are two important concepts to understand here. The first is the context of the block. If I hide this block on the dashboard page that I am on, will this disappear elsewhere also? The answer to this question is no. This hide is for this page only. The reason is the context of the block. You will understand this context concept better when we continue on this topic in the next lesson also, making a sticky block. For now, just understand that this hide will make this block invisible only on this page. When I make the block hidden, it is still showing in the editing mode only. However, it is showing grayed out. You can see the color of this block is dull than compared to this because it has been hidden. And if I stop the editing mode now, then you can see that this block will not show on the page at all. The next concept is, what is the difference between hiding and deleting a block? As you saw, hiding only controls the visibility of that block and that too based on the context of the block. When you want to remove a block on your installation, then you can delete the block. For example, now let us say that I want to remove the private files block. I can again go to the actions menu and choose delete this time you will be shown a confirmation message this time to make sure you did not accidentally choose to delete the block. And when you confirm positively, the block will be deleted. Obviously, you have to use the delete option cautiously because you potentially delete the block from several pages. Also, deleting a block does not uninstall it completely from your Moodle. There is another way to do that from the admin pages. However, there are very few occasions to uninstall a block completely from your installation. Another final point that we will note is that both the hide and delete options will not be present for crucial system blocks. For example, both the navigation and the administration blocks do not have these options available.